Good morning. It is Monday, July 4th, and we are at that pivot point in the summer. Today is an incredible day in our nation's history that we celebrate with fireworks and gatherings and fun with family and friends. Today, I want to talk a little bit about what's behind that declaration and that holiday and how we can incorporate that into our lives as well. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm a pastor at the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches in Iliopolis and Nyanic, Illinois. I'm the founder of Light, Life, and Love Ministries. This is an outreach for those who are spiritual but not religious. And I'm the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. It's a really cool podcast. You should check it out. Today is, as you know, the 4th of July. <clears throat> I did a little background on the 4th of July in the Declaration of Independence. That's what we celebrate, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence was actually adopted on July 2nd. That was when the Continental Congress agreed and passed the Declaration of Independence to submit to the Crown. And so July 2nd is a significant date. So why do we celebrate on July 4th? Well, they had to do a little bit of editing and a little bit of changing. So on July 4th, all of the edits were complete. The signing process finished in August. But we take July 4th as that date when the edits were complete, that that was when the declaration stood. And there's something so powerful in making a declaration. When you stand up, whether individually or as a group, and declare to God and the world that this is who you are, this is who you will be, there's some power in that. There's a lot of power in that. And as a country, the colonies, well, we weren't really a country yet, but <clears throat> as a group of people, we became the country that we call the United States of America, and it began with that bold declaration back in 1776. We make declarations about ourselves in our lives, too, in big ways and in small ways. In big ways, if we get married, we stand together and we make a bold declaration about moving through life together with this other person. When we are baptized, if you get baptized, or if you were baptized as an infant and get confirmed later, you make a bold declaration about how you're going to live your life. You say before God and witnesses that you are going to live your life in pursuit of a relationship with God known in Jesus Christ. And then that's going to be a formative principle in your life. Bold declarations are important and they're powerful. We also make smaller declarations all the time. And you may not even realize you're doing it. But the voice that we have in our minds in this real estate here makes declarations throughout the day. Sometimes those aren't ones that we want to form our lives around. Sometimes our minds give bold declarations of, I am not enough, or you can't do this, or oh, it's so stupid, or all kinds of other things. Folks, that's not a way to shape your life. Those aren't the foundations that you want to build on in your life. So take some time and listen to the declarations that your mind is making about yourself. And then change the script. It's Independence Day. You are free to declare who you are going to be and how you are going to build your life. Make this the day that you make that free, that choice to be free from all of those things that you tell yourself that don't serve you and don't serve your, your family and your loved ones. Those people that you hold as most important in your life, they aren't served by you being small. So make today your Independence Day from all of those thoughts and choose today as an independent person to make bold and powerful declarations about yourself. Here are some. I am a person who forgives. 
I am a person who releases grudges. I am a person who is kind. I am a person who listens. I am a person who serves. I am a person who chooses peace. I am a person who takes time to understand. I am a person who loves. We can make bold declarations about ourselves. We can be people who prioritize our spiritual lives. We can be people who prioritize our physical health. We can make bold declarations about ourselves and then make it a habit. Write a note if you have to or write out an affirmation so that you make these declarations throughout your day so that they become a habit and they become hardwired into your mind and into the choices you make for your life. So that's what I have for you this week. To celebrate independence, be free to choose what you build your life on. Be free to choose those foundations upon which you are going to build and what you're going to pass on to other loved ones in your life and to the generations that come after you. So on this Independence Day, be free of the negative things and choose as you're independently inclined to be, choose to make a bold declaration of the person you want to be in this world. I think this is gonna be huge for you. I think this could make positive changes in your life. And if you want any support along the way, reach out to me. I would love to help you and support you as you craft these statements about yourself. I would love to help you write affirmations and I would help to love to help identify some of the great things about you. So reach out, let me know, send me a message or reply here and celebrate your independence. Bye for now.